Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today I will share the message or vision that I read from a website. This message is posted on June 3rd, 2022. The title of the message is Repent Now, Don't Let Hell Be Your Place After Death. Here is the message. In worship, God shows a man who recently died due to illness. This person I know well in church, he is also a very good servant. But God showed his spirit under three angels in black robes, on the right and left holding his hand, the other is behind as if watching. They are walking like crossing the ocean. There is like an orange sea like fire, his face is resigned like fear, he arrives in a dark place and one of the angels throws him down to a place like a dark and terrible alley, thrown like a useless item. There were also a lot of people. They seemed to be cramped together, full of smell, and there was smoke coming out of the hallway to the top. Each of their faces looked up, anxiously waiting. I asked, what place is this, Lord? This is hell, my child. Whoever's name is not written in the book of life, they are here until the final judgment. Luke 16.23 the rich man also died and was buried. In Hades he was in torment. He looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. I do not think he is a servant of God can perish. That place is not hell but they are suffering until the last judgment. I asked God what sin he did commit to be thrown in this place. God answers, adultery, hypocrite, evil heart. I have not given the time and opportunity for him to repent. Hebrews 12:17. Afterwards, as you know, when he wanted to inherit this blessing, he was rejected. Even though he sought the blessing with tears, he could not change what he had done. Not given a chance. Don't play with this sin. It's so real and terrible. Live according to the truth. If until today you have not repented, be careful because death can come at any time. Quickly resolve your problems with God. Do not commit adultery, betray the household, whatever the reason. Love your family. Fix your relationship with God quickly. Repent. I ask God whether after they are in the realm of death, at the time of judgment, they will be thrown into hell. Yes, my child, but they must be judged according to their deeds on earth to determine the degree of their punishment in hell. Revelation 20, verse 13 to 15. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. The service we does does not guarantee us to go to heaven. Only repent sincerely. Be the doer of the word. That's our guarantee of survival from hell fire. Don't ever think no one knows what we are doing. Regret can, cannot change anything. Too late. Jesus bless you from parts of Solomon and Tim. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are so close to the coming of Jesus. Signs are everywhere such as disasters, pestilences, wars and rumors of wars, famine, earthquakes and so on. God also gave us warning after warning through his prophets, watchmen or servants through dreams, visions, and messages. The main purpose of all this warning is for the people to wake up, be ready and prepare, repent from sins, turn from wicked ways to godly ways. Sadly, only a few or not many believers will take heed to the warning from the Lord. Like what is written in the scripture, many are called but few are chosen. Like the dream from a sister in Christ that I share on my community post recently, a lot of pastors and God's servants and God's people were not raptured and they were all found in the state of being left behind. This aligned with the rapture dreams I ever had some years ago. In the first dream, God showed me the event of the rapture. 
It's like rapture already took place. It was daytime and I was still here after rapture. I saw the evangelists, the church elders, servants, and many believers at my church were still here after rapture. I saw them wearing the party dress at the church and like ready to go to a party. In this dream, it's like they didn't know rapture just took place. They act like nothing happened, they were happy and seemed no regret or sad being left behind. And the second dream, it's like at the night time, I was in my house here. I only saw my dad and all of the sudden rapture took place. It's like I saw the rapture event from the window. In the spirit, I knew it's like only two people or believers are being raptured. Well, I myself also still here after rapture. In my heart, I wondered why rapture is so quiet. It's not like a rapture, but because very few people are taken. After having these two dreams and seeing my, myself being left behind in this dream, I was terrified of being left behind. Because it's so real, if God gives us warning to dreams, it cannot be forgotten. I still can feel it until today. Since that time, I repent, seek God more, and turn from my lukewarmness. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in the middle of all the signs of the end times that God shows us now, how many churches in our city or country preach about the end times or warning us about the coming of Jesus? Almost none or only a few, majority of them, they act like nothing will happen and just continue with their own programs or agendas. Most of the churches or mega churches still preach about earthly things, prosperity gospel and not prepare the believers to meet Jesus. This will cause many believers left behind here after rapture. The church must listen to the prophets and the watchmen that God sent to warn them. The very urgent thing that the pastors, ministers of the church need to preach today is about repentance and holiness. They must prepare the people of God for the coming of Jesus. If our, after all this shaking, the people or the church still haven't woken up and repented, I don't know what great shaking the Lord would have to do to wake his sleeping church. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Hope this could help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.